Hey guys, so I feel like we're having the same conversation, <laughs> the same conversation again that we had uh, in the Chanel blush video. And that is uh, a newly reformulated version of something that was already existing. And that is the Dior Mono Shadows. So today we're gonna be talking about the new Dior Mono Color Couture Shadows. And these are newly reformulated, uh, new packaging, new, uh, they, they look different, um, and some new finishes as well. Um, I was a big fan of the original Dior shadows. So, you know, I was a little bit like, oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing this to me again. Anyway, we'll we'll definitely get into it, but let me tell you what we're gonna be doing in this video. I am going to be uh, showing you close-ups of the actual eyeshadow pan. I'll be giving you some arm swatches. And then I did do eye swatches of all 20 new shades. So Dior was kind enough in sending me um, all 20 of the new shades. I believe there's only five available on their site right now. I'm trying to find out when the rest is gonna be available on the site. And as soon as I find out, I'll put that down below in the description box because as I'm filming this, I still don't know when the rest are gonna be made available. Um, and if you watched my trying new makeup video, I did swatch all five of the new shades. I used four out of the five shades. So today we're gonna to be uh, swatching all of them. And what I did do was swatch one color on each eye. And I did decide to swatch all of the shades by finish. So there's five different finishes. There's a velvet finish, a matte finish, satin, metallic, and glitter. So I went by um, in that order because it's basically from like the most matte to the most uh, glittery, basically. I ended up with glitter. That's what I have on my eyes right now. And I also just wanna let you know that I have foundation and powder down. So that's what I have kind of prepped on my eyelids. Um, and what else did I wanna let you know? Oh, also just, don't judge me because all I wanted to do was just kind of get the color down onto my eyes just so you guys could get a visual of what it looks like on the eyes because arm swatches is just is just an arm swatch. So, you know, I don't do looks with them or whatever and I'm I'm going to specifically call out the matte black black bow shadow. I just put that all over my lid. It looks terrible, <laughs> but I just put it all over my lid. I did that with all the colors. Um, again, I'm not doing looks or anything, so I didn't add any eyeliner or mascara. I just wanted to get them on the eyes for you. There were 20 shades. My eyelids are burning, <laughs> so I couldn't really do uh, much more. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that also before we got into it. And then since I did swatch them by finish, I'm going to kind of stop and talk about what I think about each finish as we're kind of going through uh, all the swatches. And just quick before we get into all the swatching and everything, I just want to mention that these um, palettes, like these shadows pop out. Hold on, let me, <laughs> let me do it this way. Yeah, they pop out. So I think they're gonna be selling refills. Again, I'm not sure I don't have all the details on this release, um, but that is really, really exciting. It looks like Dior is really embracing this sort of like refillable idea because they just did that to their lipsticks. I actually have one on right now. Um, their lipsticks are refillable now too. So really exciting. I so happy about that. Yeah, these just pop out really, really easily. You just push from the back and that's it. So exciting, so, so exciting. Why don't we go ahead and jump into the velvet swatches. All right, so those are the three velvet shades, Grige, Rouge Trafalgar, and Copper. And for me, Grige and Copper are the two that I really, really enjoy out of the three. 
Um, Rouge Trafalgar is, you know, is a little bit more of a dramatic shade. It's, uh, you know, kind of a deep red, a burnt red. Um, all of the shadows have a soft pigmentation, which I really enjoy. I find them easier to work with. I find them to be kind of beginner friendly. Um, so the Rouge Trafalgar, I think, would end up being a really nice uh, transition shade or shade if I just want to add a little bit of drama. Uh, but realistically, I'm going to be reaching for shades like Grige and Copper a lot more. Grige, I find to be a lovely, you know, light transition shade uh, for my skin tone if I wanted to use it in that way. It also would be a really nice kind of one and done, very simple one and done eyeshadow. Um, also with copper, kind of, I have the same thoughts about it. It's a little bit deeper than Grige um, and a little bit warmer. And so I think it would actually make for a better kind of transition shade for my skin tone and like the shades that I like to use. So those are the three velvet shades. Let's go ahead and move into the matte shades. Okay, so those were the four shades uh, with the matte finish. Um, obviously, Black Bow <laughs> is not a one and done shadow for me, unless of course I'm trying to do something really, really uh, almost like cosplay. Uh, but that is uh, a really nice soft matte black and I really enjoyed using it as a liner in my last Trying New Makeup video. So that's definitely how I'm going to be using the, uh, the Black Bow. Uh, maybe I'll use it to kind of smoke out my lash line a little bit, but it's definitely not gonna be kind of like a one and done shadow for me. Um, the other three shades I think uh, are, are like a nice range of kind of really soft one and done shades or really soft kind of transition shades. The Dune shade is a little bit warm, the Rosewood shade is a little bit cool, and the Cashmere shade is sort of this really beautiful neutral. So I think they did a really good job uh, kind of laying out these matte shades uh, so that they could be really simple, kind of like a light dusting one and done shade, or they could be used as soft transition shades for a number of like different tones. And of course my favorite out of the matte shades would be the Cashmere shade. That's the first one that I swatched. It's just a really soft, nice neutral like taupey brown and i just feel like this is really versatile like i said one and done or transition or it could be used you know in conjunction with a lot of these other shadows so those are the um, matte finish shadows and then next we have the satin shades
it. Some of the old songs. Yes, ma'am. Dior really like went in with the satin shades. So there's eight satin shades all together. And uh, I would say all of these are beautiful, like one and done shades. It really just sort of depends on, you know, your preference. Um, I really, really like Poncho. Poncho is just this lovely, um, like mid-tone, neutral kind of brown. I think this looks beautiful as a one and done shade. I think it goes from day to evening really nicely. Um, it can also work with like other shades really beautifully if you want to deepen, you know, some shades up. Um, so I really like Poncho and I just really, really love this satin finish. I think this is where these Dior mono shadows really shine is with these satin and metallic shades. Those are my two favorite finishes out of the five. And my other favorite I just wanna mention is Nude Dress. This is a little bit lighter than Poncho. Just another really gorgeous like neutral brown that just, again, kind of goes with everything and is incredibly versatile. And the pigmentation in the satin shadows, much like the matte and the velvet, just, they're not overdone. So again, they just go on really, really beautifully, almost like a beautiful wash. You can build them up really easily. I felt like the first layer of, I guess I could say this for all the shadows, I felt like the first layer was almost like when you get your nails done and you get that first layer down. The color is there, but it may not look terribly even or you may not be getting like the best sense of the color and then as soon as you go in with like the second coat you're like oh okay <laughs> there we are it looks like even it looks uh, beautiful it's the color that i thought it was um and that's how i feel about all of these eyeshadows it was like the first layer it was like hmm like what's what's going on here and then as soon as i went in with like another layer it was like oh Beautiful. So that's how I feel about all of the finishes, um, but I really felt that with the satins. Like they really kind of came to life when I laid down that second coat, that second layer of, of pigment. So really love those. And like I said, Poncho New Dress Tool is also just a really great, I'm <laughs> just talking about all the neutral shades here. Um, Tool is the other shade that I really, really love. Um, but I was actually very surprised, very, very surprised at how much I really liked Sienna. So Sienna was like kind of the bright, it's like a tangerine color. And I thought, oh man, I'm gonna look like a clown when I put this on. It's almost just like this brighter version of a nude. I mean, I guess it is. It's like a brighter version of like a peach. And I, yeah, I just really, really liked it. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. So that is Sienna. And I think it's gonna be great for the summertime. I just feel like, you know, I associate orange, of course, with Halloween, but to me, it also is such a like summer color, you know, orange and like the sun and the beach. It just, I don't know. I just always think of orange. So, uh, so those are the satin shades. Um, let's move over to the metallic shades.
All right, so those are the two metallic shades. We have beige, mitza, and gris. Now, what I wanted to do, and I'll do this kind of at the end, I'm going to swatch the beige mitza next to my favorite single shadow from Dior's previous line, which is Cosmopolite, because I think they're very, very similar. And this was what I was most upset about, is if they discontinued this Cosmopolite shade. Um, I also thought it was pretty similar to the favorite shade in my favorite Quint, uh, Soft Cashmere. Um, I thought it was very similar to this shade up here. Um, so we're going to be doing some comparison swatches to those two. I just wanted to mention that now, but we'll do the uh, comparisons towards the end of this video. So I'm sure you could tell that <laughs> this beige Mitza in the metallic shade, this is my favorite, favorite uh, mono shadow out of all of them, all the finishes, every last one of them. I just love it. Again, I think it just makes for a beautiful one and done shadow. I think the metallic sheen just is so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. It's so smooth and it just, you know, it gives a lot of interest to the eye and like it gives, um, you know, your eye look a lot of dimension and all you've done is lay down one shade. So I really, really love the metallic uh, finish and I really love beige Mitza. Um, as far as Gris is concerned, Gris is gorgeous, very, very beautiful, but because it is much cooler, I feel like it like stands out on my eye a little bit more than beige Mitza. Like it's a little bit more of a statement is what I'm trying to say. It's a little bit more of a statement. Um, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just, I just know I'm not going to reach for it quite as often as I'm going to reach for beige Mitza. Um, but yeah, the metallic, I feel like if I had to choose a favorite uh, finish, it is the metallic very closely followed by the satin and this beige Mitza is my favorite. So finally, we have the glitter finish. Let's go ahead and take a look at those swatches. All right, so those were the three shades with the glitter finish. And I did swatch these a little bit differently since there was three left. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like taking off eyeshadow just one more time. So I put the um, Pearl Star, yeah, the Pearl Star, like in the inner corners, uh, inner portion of my lid. And then on this side, I have the Gold Star. And then on this side, I have Coral Look, I think. Yeah, Coral Look. Um, these are beautiful, beautiful, like topper shades. They're really, really gorgeous. I think if you're someone that likes, you know, glittery eyeshadows and you like that kind of simple one and done look, these are great. The formula of these is so um, interesting. They uh, kind of have that same feel of like the Tom Ford topper shades or the Charlotte Tilbury topper shades. Um, like they're almost like a creamy kind of finish, but they're not, they're not actually soft at all. It's just so interesting. Um, they actually feel a little bit cool to the touch even. Um, and then when you pat them on, they kind of behave like a cream shadow. There's no fallout. And I did actually wear that gold, um, gold star. Why do I keep forgetting these names? Gold star, because I used it in my trying new makeup video. I wore that gold star all day and there was no fallout. I thought for sure I would see, you know, a little, 
you know, a few bits of micro glitter um, on my cheeks or underneath my eyes after wearing it all day, and I didn't. It just stays put. The formula of the glitter shades is definitely the most interesting. I just think they're really, really special. If you're into glitter, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, in terms of uniqueness, the Pearl Star and the Gold Star, I think are pretty standard. It's like a silver and a gold. Um, but this coral look is really pretty. It's like a peachy gold kind of glitter. I hope you guys can see it because it is fairly subtle. Again, because it's like a, these are like topper shades. They are uh, very translucent, but yeah, there is the coral look. Those are the three um, glitter shades and you know, very beautiful, a lot of fun. And if you're into glitter shades, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, so, so let's do some comparison swatches of the Beige Mitza, the um, Cosmopolite, and that one shade in the Soft Cashmere. You guys, I am so happy to report that, that the Beige Mitza is like an exact dupe for the Cosmopolite. It is literally the same. It has the same kind of like beautiful peachy undertone, um, but like the metallic sheen to it is more of like a cool taupe. I think that's what makes this shade so special and why I love it so much is that it has that warmth to it, that peachiness to it, but it also can play kind of like neutral, almost cool tone. So I just, I'm so happy, <laughs> so, so happy that they basically duped their own shade in this beige mitza. So, so happy about that. And then the soft cashmere one, I've compared that to the Cosmopolite, so I knew it wasn't gonna be the same as the Cosmopolite. Um, it is definitely much cooler in tone, as you can see. It doesn't have that kind of peachy undertone. If anything, there's maybe a little bit of a pink kind of undertone, um, but it really is just kind of more of a straight up metallic taupe. Um, but, oh, I'm so, so happy that the um, Beige Mitza is basically Cosmopolite. So, well, there you have it. Those are all of the 20 new shades of the Dior Monocolor Couture shadows. And again, only five seem to be available on the Dior site right now. And as soon as all of them are available, I will definitely let you know over on Instagram stories. Um, I'll update my description box down below. Um, yeah, so that is it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to mention. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.